Foam Fighters, the newest indoor foam dart arena and video game room. Check out foamfighters.ca. Everyone, Eugene here from Foam Fighters, uh, working on some new videos. Today I'm going to be demoing the uh, Adventure Force Arsenal. I was actually in Kelowna not too long ago there, uh, Kelowna, Canada. I went to the Walmart there and I stopped and I saw this. So everywhere I go, any different Walmarts I go to, I just try to find different blasters, any Toys R Us, um, any odd stores, just to see if there's anything I can find. So I haven't seen this in my local Walmart, so I picked this up over there. So yeah, I was just looking at this box and it's just called the, the Arsenal. So really, they're both uh, two mag-fed style blasters. This one looks like it's a single shot uh, with a bolt action. And this one looks like it's... I haven't tried any of these yet. It looks like you prime it back over here. So I'm going to unbox these. Uh, I'm going to use the, the, uh, the darts that it comes with as well too. So let's get into it. I'm gonna put this flat just so it doesn't fall out. I guess that's pretty easy. There's one. Accessory, uh, what is that? A scope. Blaster there. Looks like it comes with one, two, three mags actually. That's quite a bit. All right. All right two there, one there, and I'm gonna get these darts out of here. Okay, you're just gonna see me demolishing this box here. Okay, so that's everything there. We got the, the darts, the three mags, bolt action, scope, and then the other springer right there. All right, so why don't we head over to the target range. I'll, uh, I'll set this up for the first time and then we can test them out and see how accurate they are. Hi everyone, okay, we're here in the target range. So this is where I'll kind of go over the blasters to see how to use them. And then we're gonna test out the accuracy. So I was going over, I know the box says Arsenal, so I was just trying to see if there's actually names for these. Uh, I looked all over this one, and I don't see anything on here. So it's just part of the Arsenal, I guess. Same with this one, except this one has something that says BBT1902. I don't know, that's probably just more for aesthetics. I don't know if that's actually the name of the blaster. So I've gone ahead and preloaded the, uh, the mags, and these are actually flip mags as well too. So you could actually attach these to each other if you want. I won't do it that way, but you could attach it to each other. So you just flip over. Um, and I'll put the scope on. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll actually try shooting using the scope. I'll see how accurate it is. All right, so this looks very similar to their uh, other bolt action uh, blaster, which I really enjoy. It's a good blaster. Uh, they just don't last very long. So, so let's try this one. Looks like you just pull this one back. Did you pull this back already? No. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna use the uh, scope and just see where it goes. That wasn't too bad. So it was a little lower than the scope, so I'll just compensate a bit. I mean, the darts are a little all over the place too. Jeez. I'm 
try. Okay, that's it for that one. Okay, next. So again, I've never used any of these, but this looks like you just pull it back here. Load up the mag. All right, let's see what this one's like. So I won't use the scope, I'll just kind of use the sights on here. Nope, that was way low. Hey, we got it. All right, let's go for Dracula. Should you put that bullet in correctly? I don't know. These really shoot down. We got a quick arc. All right, so that was uh, two blasters. Not very accurate, but I mean a combination of this plus those wonky darts. The, da the darts are inaccurate, but they are fun. So we're gonna try them out in the arena and we'll just see how far they actually go. Okay, everyone, we're gonna test and see how far these go. I, I forgot to mention how these work. So uh, with this one, you pull it all the way back and the mag goes in here. And right here's the mag release when you need to take it out. I always find uh, their mag release is a bit strange. I like the ones when they're by your finger, it's a quicker release. But this one's, um, you know, you need two hands to do it with, basically. So we're gonna try to see how far this goes. And again, it's about 70 feet all the way from wall to wall here, so we're gonna try this out. And again, I shoot it a bit of an arc, give it a little bit of a chance here. Okay, that was about 30 feet. It's like halfway. Yeah. A little better. See the darts? I don't know if you can see that, but they kind of go all over the place. Whoa. Hey, that hit the wall. Yeah. Kind of a convoluted way. That one did too. That one did not. <laughs> you see them like spinning. Yeah. All right, that's it for that one. Okay, so we're gonna load up the uh, bolt action here. So again, pull it all the way back. Mag goes in there. And again, this is the release if you need to take it out. Okay. There we go. All right, let's try this one. It definitely, you can feel that it's going out a bit faster. I think the problem with these darts is the faster you shoot them, the more random they go. Whoa. That's <laughs> far. That one went that one went like this and then it went like that. Yeah. Darts are weird. Yeah. All right, so that was the last of those. Uh, so the next part, I'll just kind of go over my overview of, of both blasters. So let me just go over my uh, final views of both blasters. Again, these came as a package in one box. Uh, you know, I should I should have remembered what I paid for it. I don't think it was actually that much though. I think it was under thirty dollars for both blasters. I'll double check, but uh, okay. So as far as this blaster goes. I know it's a reshell of some of the other ones they have as well too. I kind of like, I like kind of what they've done with the design of it. I like, uh, you know, just all the little details they did put in there. They obviously, they didn't have to do any of that, but it, you know, kind of adds to it a little bit. Um, I'm not a big fan of the actual blaster itself. I don't like uh, the mag release myself on there. This part's okay. Uh, you know, it's pretty smooth going in and out. I just don't like uh, how to actually release it on there. As far as the accuracy goes, not very accurate at all. You could see that when I was in the target range. And then when I was firing it in the arena, I mean, it's also a combination of the darts. So the darts were kind of going all over the place. But I mean, really, they were so inaccurate that some were going this way, some were going that way. Uh, so you couldn't really use that. It's a fun blaster. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't use it for any sort of long range purposes. Maybe uh, short to mid range if you really wanted to. It is definitely a fun to use. I would still probably only give this one though probably about a five out of 10 overall score. Um, it's, it, 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 we'll try it out, we'll see how it trials in the arena here, how long it actually lasts, but not too bad. 
All right, so let's move over to this one. So Adventure Force makes another uh, bolt action. And the cool thing about this, I really like their bolt action. They're pretty powerful. I think when I put the right darts in here, it'll be a little more accurate. I do, one of the big things I like about this though, is it has a mag now. So the previous bolt action, this would pull back, there'd be opening here and you just put one dart in there. And so you're shooting one at a time. I like that you can actually put a mag in here and, and load it up so I can put whatever size mag in here as well. I like the design of this one. I mean, it, it's weird. It's a little small, like the butt part of it's really, it's kind of useless. You couldn't really use this because it's too small. But, you know, maybe if you really liked it and if you want to modify it a bit, you could probably just take that out, add a bigger, add, add a bigger butt on there as well too. The uh, scope looks kind of cool. As far as accuracy, not very accurate. But overall, I, I do like this blaster. I actually like using it as well too. This one, I'd probably still give it about a six-ish, six and a half out of 10 to use. So it's a pretty good one. So again, these come as a pair. So if you can find these in any of your local Walmarts or anything, I think it's a good, I think it's a good value for, for sure. So thanks again and uh, look out for our next one.